Hi, in today's video, we are going to study an unsupervised method which is used as association rule. We will see important definitions of item set, support and confidence calculation and how to generate rules using a prior algorithm. So let us start with association analysis. This is one of the unsupervised technique which is used for identifying important relationship in a given transactional set of data. Here we make use of market basket analysis in order to find out frequent item set or which are the items which are purchased by customer very repeatedly or frequently. And along with some frequent items, what are another items which are frequently purchased? All these answers can be found out using association analysis for market basket. So for a market basket transaction, we are given input as a set of transaction. In each transaction, there are set of data or items that are purchased together. Here we have something called as an item, which is nothing but an object or an article which is bought by a particular customer. A transaction is nothing but set of items which are purchased in a particular or a by particular customer which are having a transaction ID. A transactional data set is nothing but set of all those transactions. Now we have something called as an association rule and that association rule takes a form of x given y. The expression x given y where x and y are two disjoint item set. So x is one item set and y is another item set and this rule determines that if x item set is purchased then there are probability that y item set would be also purchased by a customer. Here we would come across two different terms. First one is support and another one is confidence. Supports is a rule that holds with S in a transactional data set if support percent of a transaction contains X union Y. So for any rule, what is the support? Support of a rule X given Y is nothing but support count of X union Y where sigma of x is nothing but number of time x item occurred in a transaction and sigma of x union y is nothing but number of transaction in which x and y both appears. Divide by n, n is nothing but total number of transactions. Similarly, we calculate confidence of an association rule as the rule which holds in t. With confidence, if confidence percentage of a transaction that also contains X also contains Y. That is the confidence of an association rule X given Y is support of X union Y divided by support count of X. That is number of times X and Y both appears in a transaction divided by the number of times only X appears in a transaction. So, the algorithm that we use is called as a priori algorithm for association rule. If there are k items in an item set, then there are possible 2 raised to k ways to create an item set from an item. Like for example, consider this example. Say for example, in our transactional data set, there are 6 items that can appear. Those items are bread, milk, egg, butter, salt and apple. So how many item set combinations can be formed out of this 6? So out of this 6, we can generate 2 raised to 5. That is 64 combinations in total. So that can be considered as bread with milk, bread with egg, bread with butter, bread with salt, bread with apple. Like with milk with egg, milk with butter, milk with salt, milk with apple. And so on, if we kick up on continue generating an item set of length 2, we would get these many set of possible item sets. Now, if we consider later on, 
a length of three items in an item set then we can consider bread milk egg as first combination bread milk butter as second combination bread milk salt as third combination bread milk apple as our next combination likewise i can create a new set bread egg butter bread egg salt so how many possible number of permutation and combinations that are possible so for k item set number of possible item sets that of different different length can be computed as 2 raised to k so here we have to find out the only important not all different uh, association rule but we are here our goal is to find out only important association rule those important association rules can be only found out if some of these item sets are getting uh, disqualified or I would say we have something called as minimum support and minimum confidence so any of this item set is not satisfying minimum support we are going to reject that item set and that's why we will have lesser number of combination or permutation item set in our example so here in an a priori algorithm we have only two steps First step is to generate frequent item set. That means only those item set which are having minimum support. We call those set of items as frequent item set. And from that frequent item set, we perform second step that is nothing but generating association rule. So these are the rule association rules which are generated using item sets which are frequent, which are found in our step number one. So let us understand uh, this particular frequent item set with the help of one example. So as you can see we have to find frequent item sets with minimum support 0.6. So this value can be all again specified in terms of percentage or it can be specified in this way also. And we are given some transactional data. We are having six transaction history. And along with each transaction, what are the items that are purchased that are given? So how we will start? We will start with making item set, their support count and their support. Now remember support count is nothing but number of times an item appears in a given set of transaction space. So the first step we have to identify how many unique items are there and those items will be the initial item set. So as you can see bread is one of the item, milk is another item, egg, butter, salt, apple. Along with, uh, along with these items there are no any other item which is new in any of these transactions. So these are the nothing but initial items in our item set. We will first calculate their support count. As you can see, your bread appears one time, no other time. This is 2, 3, 4 and 5. So in total, bread support count is 5. Now how to calculate support? Support is nothing but support count divided by total number of transactions. So there are in total 6 transactions. So support count will be 5 by 6. Let us calculate for milk. Milk is appearing one time, two time, three time four times and five times. So milk is appearing five times. That's why support will be five by six. Likewise, I will calculate for each of these. Now, as you can see, support of bread is nothing but five by six, which is, is equal to 0.83. Now, support of butter is three by six, which is, is equal to 0.5. And support of salt is two by six, which is, is equal to 0.33. Now here one thing is used, you should use is this minimum support to reject or discard some of the items. For any item which is having minimum support lesser than given minimum support, we must reject those items. So as you can see this support out of this, this 0.5 is lesser than this 0.6 given in the question and this 0.033 is also lesser than this 0.6. That's why we are cancelling item butter and salt from our frequent item set. Now out of this bread, milk, egg and apple, we will make combination of two items in an item set. So we will make bread with milk as our first, first option. Then we will make use bread with egg as our second option, this one. 
then we will use bread with apple as our third option that is the third combination again we will start with milk milk with egg will be our next option milk with apple will be our next option and milk with okay and later on we will start with egg egg with apple will be our next item in our item set so these many item sets are might be frequent so let us calculate how many times bread and milk both appears in a transaction so bread and milk one time bread and milk two time bread and milk three time here we have only milk so we will not consider this here again we will not consider bread and milk four times so there are four times where bread and milk both appear together in set of transaction so support count support will be 4 by 6 likewise we will calculate for bread and egg so this is bread and this is egg one time this is bread and egg two time this is bread and egg three times and this is bread and egg four times so here we will write down 4 again support count will be 4 by 6 so likewise we will calculate and here as you can see for these set of elements Okay, so elements we have to discard now items which are not fitting into minimum support. So here as you can see every item is satisfying the criteria of minimum support. So no item is going to get rejected or discarded out of item set. We will make use of this item set in order to prepare a new set of frequent item set. We will start with bread milk and here we have bread egg. So one item is common. So we will combine these two sets. So here we will have bread, milk and egg. Again bread and milk is there and this is bread and apple. Again one item is same so we can combine these two sets. So this would be bread, milk uh, and apple. Now out of this bread, milk and milk egg. Milk is common so we will make bread milk and egg but as you can see bread milk egg is already appeared so we will not rewrite it okay so let us move ahead uh, bread milk and milk apple again milk is common but it will make us uh, set bread milk and apple which is already considered here okay bread milk and apple is already considered now bread milk and egg apple nothing is common so we will not combine these set we will start with another one bread with egg so bread with egg and bread with apple we are having bread as common so we will have bread egg and apple as our next set and likewise bread egg and milk egg egg is common so it will make a set bread egg and milk so bread egg and milk is already considered we will not rewrite it likewise we are going to identify unique item sets so out of all these four Considering all these set of item sets, we are able to only identify four unique subsets. So four sets are having bread, milk, egg, bread, milk, apple, bread, egg, apple and milk and egg. So again, the procedure is same. Let us start with bread, milk, egg. So how many times bread, milk, egg appears? Bread, milk, egg one time, bread, milk, egg two time, uh, here bread, milk, egg three times. Okay, so support count will be 3 in this case. Well, likewise, we will perform for bread, milk and apple and here we will make support as 3 by 6. So we have calculated for rest of the 3 and we know that uh, any uh, item set which is not fulfilling the criteria of this minimum support must get discarded. So from here 0.5 and 0.33 is getting discarded. Okay, so here as you can see, question is saying that we have to find out frequent item set. So all this red item sets are nothing but set of frequent item sets which are having or which are satisfying our minimum support criteria of 0.6. Now if question is modified, question is asked that you have to find out only frequent item set of length 3. That means your frequent item set must contains 3 items in it with the minimum support of 0.6. So not all these item sets would be considered as frequent because only length of item set if it is 3 are only 2 rules. So only 2 rules or 2 item frequent item set with minimum support 0.6 and having length 
greater than or equal to 3. Along with same question, there is another question that you have to find association rule of type x comma y determines it. Now, in order to calculate association rule of x comma y determines it, we must calculate confidence of x comma y and determines z. As you can see here, minimum confidence is given 90%. So first we must calculate its confidence and compare its confidence with minimum confidence. So confidence of x comma y determines z is given as support of x comma y comma z divided by support of x comma y. That means support of all these three items divided by support of items which are towards the left of this arrow. That is the simplest definition of confidence calculation. So confidence of x comma y determines z is support of x y z divided by support of x y. Now as you can see rule contains we must at least have support of three items. So we have to only consider the frequent item set with three items only because in that case only we will be able to substitute support of three items. So if I have to consider only these two rules, I would be able to generate equations like this. That bread and milk, from this rule I can say bread and milk determines apple or bread and apple determines milk or milk and apple determines bread. So these three rules are generated from one frequent item set. Now from second frequent item set, we can generate milk and egg determines apple egg and apple determines milk or milk and apple determines egg. So these three set of rules are generated from another frequent item set and we have to calculate confidence of each and we will see which confidence is fulfilling this particular minimum confidence criteria. So let us start for calculating confidence of confidence of bread, milk and apple. Bread and milk determines apple. Consider why I am considering these kind of app, uh, rules because it states that two items determines y, one item. If it would have x determines y, that means I must consider only those items, one item towards the left and one item towards the right. But here question specified that two items are towards the left and only one item is there. That's why I am considering confidence of bread and milk determines apple which is given as support of bread milk apple divided by support and of bread and milk only. So as we can see support of bread milk apple is 4 and support of only bread and milk is, is also 4. So that will be substituted. So confidence is first rule is 4 by 4 which is, is equal to 100%. So this 100% is satisfying 90% formula. So this rule is considered as association rule. Likewise, I will calculate for each of this. So we have calculated these values respectively. Now, as you can see, this rule is not satisfying this 90% formula because this is only 80%. So I'm going to reject only two rules and rest of the rules are the rules which are considered as strong association rule. So I would consider strong rule with the minimum confidence of 90% and minimum support of 60% or 0.6. So that is all for today. In today's video, we have seen how to generate frequent item sets, how to calculate support and confidence with respect to association rule of market basket analysis using a priori algorithm. This is Munira Topia signing out.